Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. This reading cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Leo, this is your January 2020 tarot reading. Let's talk about your current job situation first. So we've got the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles and Seven of Wands clarified by the lovers. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini. But overall what it looks like to me is uh, something has abruptly ended or it needs to end. That something could have left you feeling out of the cold. Um, you're resisting something, you're fighting something off. You could be resisting making a choice or you're fighting off a Gemini. That's what you could be uh, dealing with at your workplace at this point. There isn't really much I can tell you right now. Leo and the new job in January 2020. Uh, we've got the King of Cups, the Star, Ten of Swords, clarified by the King of Swords. Uh, you could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Star card in the middle, in the middle is uh, also an Aquarius card. Um, the way I see it is uh, somebody's wish or dream could uh, get killed. I don't know if it's your dream or somebody else's. In other words, uh, you could be the dream killer going King of Swords style on somebody or it could be the other way around. Uh, to be honest with you, it doesn't look promising in regards to a new job. So um, perhaps just wait till February and then try again. But don't let me discourage you because this doesn't have to resonate with everybody. It never does. Leo and finances in January 2020. We've got the star, the empress and temperance. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. Um, here's what I see. These are all major arcana cards. I don't want to say it's set in stone for your finances in January, but it's something major, something important. These are all good, positive, relaxed, uh, easygoing, so to speak, cards. Um, a wish could be coming true and you're feeling calm and abundant when it comes to your finances this month. I don't see anything you need to worry about. It looks pretty good to me. Leo and love in an established relationship in January 2020. An established relationship could be marriage, could be long-term dating, you could be living together or still living separately. So we've got the uh, Two of Wands, the Knight of Wands, uh, the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune. You could be trying to make a decision about a trip or about an offer to spice things up in your relationship. Well, use your intuition. Do your research and give it a shot. Hence the Wheel of Fortune. Um, another scenario I can think of is a third party is intruding on your relationship, hence the Knight of Wands, and it's being kept secret. This could happen during a trip, but doesn't have to be. Um, I'm not here to judge guys, I'm just a messenger. I'm just telling you what I see. Leo and New Love in January 2020. We've got the Hangman, the Star, and the Hierophant. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Taurus. Um, all major arcana cards, guys. Um, I think an offer has already been made or will be made in January. It could be you who extends this offer or you could be the one on the receiving end of this offer. Either way, it's hanging in the air. There is no movement. At least I don't see any. Uh, the star is a wish come true and the Hierophant is something that could potentially lead to marriage. Um, so use your best judgment and uh, don't let that hang in the air for too long because uh, most offers tend to expire at some point. Leo and past love 
in January 2020. Uh, keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent tax. It could be somebody from three months ago, six months ago, three years ago. Um, we've got the Devil, Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Wands. Um, looks like you could be uh, seeing somebody coming from the past. Uh, it could be a Capricorn or it could be a water sign. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female, doesn't matter. Uh, it could be someone you um, felt really connected to. Uh, someone you really love to the point of obsession even. With the Eight of Cups clarified by the Ace of Wands in the end uh, on the right side of the spread, um, you might be accepting the offer to reconcile or you could be walking away towards something better. It's up to you. I personally do give people second chances, but I always keep in mind they're an ex for a reason. Leo and advice or warning or a word of wisdom in uh, January 2020. We've got the tower clarified by the page of wands, the hermit and the two of wands. Um, if a sudden unexpected message or a passionate offer comes your way, especially from a Virgo, but doesn't have to be, the advice is, uh, I think, take your time, do not jump head first try to figure out what to do with it. Answer the question, is it going to serve your best interest? And then make a smart, thought-through decision. This concludes this um, Leo January 2020 reading. I hope it uh, resonated with you, and if it did, I hope it helps you live a better life. Thank you.